everybody. Welcome back to today's Bible study. I'm your speaker, JT O'Malley 9681. It's been quite a while since around, around the middle of November of 2019 since I've done a, a Bible study or made a Bible study video of any sort. A lot of things have been going on. I've been working and all that. So I'm glad to get back into this. So go ahead and pause this video at your leisure and give yourself a word of prayer before we get started. All right. The title is Why the Word? The Word of God, the Word of Yahuwah. Not the Word of Elohim, but the Word of Yahuwah. It's kind of weird how that works. I don't fully understand it myself. And there are things that are not meant for us to understand. So let's go ahead with our main scripture area. Acts chapter 20, verse 25 through 32. And now, behold, I know that you all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of Yahuwah, shall see my face no more. This is the Apostle Paul, once with Saul and then became Paul. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Elohim. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, has made you overseers to feed the church of God, to feed the, the church of God, that that I believe is a mistranslation. It should, because God is a title, not a name. It should be the church of Yahshua, or the church of Mashiach, Christ, Jesus, which he had purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw any disciples after them. And they're especially doing that today. Wherefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn every one night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to Yahshua. And I believe that's a mistranslation there. Talking about Jesus, not talking about the Father. And not talking about Elohim. It's talking about Jesus. And to the word of his grace. Which is able to build you up. And to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. And then. Now through the, this scripture passage. It is good to show all of Yahuwah's word. The father's word. And not pick out what you like. The leadership is always responsible to teach all of the word to the flock. There are wolves who will come into congregations and try to cause division and get those into following false doctrines. They will speak highly of themselves and want publicity. There's so much of that today. And people are so easily fooled and fall for it. All leaders shall teach, so the flock will be directed to the one true Elohim, God, and to Yahweh's word, the Father's word. Now, why the word? There are three bullet points. It builds a solid and strong structure. Now, let's go to Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through 27. This is where Jesus is talking. Wherefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. That's what Jesus is saying. He is our rock. So our found, the foundation of our lives should be upon him. Even though our physical bodies may get beaten up, may even be destroyed, our lives and our salvation 
are upon him and cannot be touched. And every one that hears these sayings of mine and does them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which builds his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the rain floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and, and great was the fall of it. This is not talking about people who aren't doing good works and whatnot and end up losing their salvation. No, this is talking about unbelievers. Because Jesus was not the was not the foundation of their lives. The world is, and the and this world will see will end up ceasing to end, and we'll have a new world. That's what this is talking about. Now, the second bullet point about why the word it promotes growth and is planted into our hearts. Now, let's go to Second Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen and seventeen. All structure is given by the inspiration of Elohim and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Elohim may be perfect, thoroughly finished unto all good works. And what it's saying is that all scripture is inspired by, by Elohim. And is always useful for teaching the truth, rebuking in correction, correcting faults, and giving instruction for right living, for living right, the way that God would want us to live. So that the person who serves Elohim may be fully qualified and equipped to do the things that God would want them to do. That's what it's talking about by every good works. It has nothing to do with works to to receive and keep salvation. That is a false doctrine. Please do not get that confused. Then the third bullet point of why the word, it will protect from the dangers of the enemy. Where in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18 and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. This was still the Apostle Paul writing a letter to Timothy. This is the second letter to Timothy here, 2 Timothy. And this is basically saying that the Lord will rescue from all evil and will take us safely into the kingdom of heaven and we will be in glory with him forever and ever. And that's going to be about it for this one, folks. Yeah, it's a short one, but that's just how it happens sometimes. Follow me on social media. On my gaming channel, JTMNally9681's gaming channel. Also on Dailymotion, BitChute, Facebook, Twitter, GamingOne.com, and LinkedIn. Links will be in the video description. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, prayer requests, leave them in the comment section. And so until next time, Abba willing, we'll have another Bible study when Elohim has moved me to do so whatever that would be. I encourage everyone to get more involved in understanding Bible prophecy and end times. You can follow Jan Markel, Amir Safati, with Behold Israel. You'll find Behold Israel, Jan Markel, Jack Hibbs, and J.D. Farag on YouTube. I encourage everybody to follow those four. JTML9681 signing off. Until next time, stay safe. Shalom, my friends. And I bear this Bible study in the name of thy son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ.